those of you that don't know me, my name is Melanie Blanchette, and I'm the Executive Director of the Thunder Bay and District Humane Society. So we're here today to bring attention to World Spay Day. World Spay Day is an international movement that addresses pet overpopulation. The day serves as a global reminder that pet populations still boom when spaying and neutering of pets is not given the highest priority. Like any other community, pet overpopulation is a major issue in the Thunder Bay and District. The region is currently facing a crisis due to factors including the inaccessibility of spay neuter services. This overpopulation crisis has a significant impact on the well-being of voiceless animals as well as the community. Today the Thunder Bay and District Humane Society wants to take the lead to control pet overpopulation in this region. Today we're here to announce the future plans of the construction of a new spay and neuter clinic in Thunder Bay. With support from the community, a high volume spay and neuter clinic will be opened right here at the Humane Society to serve the Northwestern region, including First Nation communities that have major dog overpopulation issues. It has been indicated that one of the major preventatives from getting pets spayed or neutered is the lack of funds to pay for these services. The new clinic will provide spay and neuter surgical services at a very affordable cost. The new clinic has a goal to conduct 20 to 25 procedures daily, spaying and neutering approximately 5,000 pets annually. The site will be fully staffed by veterinarians, technicians, and other support personnel. The clinic will also continue to ensure that all dogs and cats are sterilized before adoption from the Thunder Bay and District Humane Society. In order to, to ensure we can build and equip the facility, we need support from the community. I'm going to ask our board president, Judy DeSico, to come and speak to this. Thank you, Melanie. Um, I'm Judy DeSico, and I'm president of the Thunder Bay and District Humane Society. Today, we are asking individuals, businesses, and foundations to help us take the lead to control pet population by making a donation to the Take the Lead fundraising campaign. So many issues can be prevented by spaying and neutering your pet. The efforts of the Take the Lead fundraising campaign will help save lives of animals and reduce the number of pets that suffer and are left alone. With all funding supporting the new spay and neuter clinic, we will help reduce the number of stray animals in the community which will also reduce costs incurred by the City of Thunder Bay. The Society is pleased to support the Thunder Bay and District Humane Society's Spay Neuter Initiative by contributing to the development of their program to improve animal welfare in Northern Ontario and First Nations communities through spay neuter services. And with that, I would like to present a donation to you folks for $80,000. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Thank you. And, then and in receipt of this wonderful donation, I would like to thank Tanya Fermich and the OSPCA for helping us take the lead in help having this clinic come to uh, fruition. So thank you again. Um, pets that are spayed or neutered are known to live longer, healthier lives and will not add to the population of homeless dogs and cats in the Thunder Bay and region. So will you help us take a stand against stray animals in the community? Will you take the lead and donate now? Spaying and neutering is the most effective way to prevent homeless litters of puppies and kittens. Take the lead and donate today. And you can do so um, by contacting us here at uh, the Humane Society. 475-8803 or through our website at www.tbdhs.ca. Today is the first day towards us reaching our $200,000 goal and opening the spay neuter clinic at the end of 2015. Thank you everyone.